Archman class is an amazing farming and supporting class, but it's quite difficult to get. That is, unless you have a lot of gold or Nargath reagents in the first place. So first you want to accept this quest, Archman quest, Void Promotion, and the first action you need is an Unidentified 13. Now, if you have it, I recommend using the uh, Nalgath Birthday Pet or the Bound Hunter Pet as they're great pets. But if you don't, instead you want to go to slash join Yolga989. Over here, you click on the Larva Pet and you click Accept. And then you go to slash join Elemental. Over here, you click on Great Mana Golem and you kill this until he drops the Mana Energy, I think. And once he does that, you go down here and kill five of these until they ch drop the Charge Mana Energy. And then you can turn in your quest to get an unidentified 13, which has a chance of 5% of dropping. The next item you want to get is the Pink Star Diamond of Nolgath. So over here you can go to Swindle Bilk down a couple of rooms. Swindle Bilk is now in a new place due to the update and I'll show you where now. Over here you click on his Merge Shop and this is the Pink Star Diamond of Nolgath which you can buy with 6 receipts of Swindle which costs 300,000 gold making a total of 1.8 million gold. Now this isn't the only expensive item you'll need, you'll need one Gold Star of Avarice as well which requires 16 receipts of Swindle and one Unmolded Fiend Essence and the Unmolded Fiend Essence costs 15 million gold. So if you do the maths, the total amount of gold you need for the Gold Star of Avarice and the Pink Star of Diamond of Nolgath you will need 21,600,000 gold. Now to get all this gold, there are two good areas you can go to. The first is Seven Circles War. Now over here you just kill these two monsters again and again until you've killed enough of them to turn in some war medals and mega medals. With a gold boost and an item like Carla's Living Head, which gives plus 30% gold, you can get 13,000, 19,000 gold per turn in. Another good area to farm gold is slash join battleground E. If you're a member you should go to slash join honor hall, but over here for non-members you can get up to 100,000 gold a minute with a gold boost and this helm. Just accept Tox quests of level 61 to 65 and level 46 to 60 and just kill the monsters in here. The next item we want is Immortal Joe's Black Star. You can get that by going to slash join Mercutio. Here you just kill this monster until he drops the Black Star. Uh, for me, it dropped on the first kill, but maybe I just got lucky. Next, we want to get the Abyssal Star. You can get this by going to slash join Evil War Null. Here, you click on Diligas, Diamond Shop, and you need 200 Dark Crystal Shards, 300 Tainted Gems, 200 Gems of Nolgath. Now, if you can, you should use this pet to get all the Dark Crystal Shards, as it's very useful and gets it 100% drop rate. But if you don't have these, I recommend going to slash join Yolga. 9889 and using this Drogen pet, either doing the assistant or doing the supplies to spin the wheel of chance to get all those items. Well, you can get the tainted gems extra fast by going to Swindle Bilk. Here you can do Swindle Bilk's quest, um, Swindle Bulk, and get 25 tainted gems for every 500 cubes, which you can get at slash join boxes. Just kill the Sneevils here or this Sneevil Tron here. Or best of all, I think, this room where you can kill all of these for extra cubes. Next, we need Dirt Liquor Demoted, and you can get this by going to slash join Fiend Shard. And you go down a couple of rooms until you get to this monster. Now over here, you just kill Dirt Liquor until he drops Dirt Liquor Demoted, which can take quite a while. Now for the very final item, Blood Star of the Arch Fiend, you want to go to slash join Shadow Blast. Over here you click on Thranaki, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and you click on Shop. And over here you need 20 Blood Gems of the Archfiend, 8 Totems of Nolgat, 2 Voidora, 909 Archfiend Favors. So for the Blood Gems and Totems, um, if you have this pet that would be super helpful and way better than getting it the normal way. But if you don't have this pet, to get the Blood Gems, you need to go to Nolgat and do Kiss the Void quest. Over here you accept his quest, Kiss the Void. To get the blood of the Archfiend, you'll need to kill some Makai until you get Tender the Assistant. Then get some Fragments of Chaos by going to slash join Blinding Snow. Over here you need to do the storyline or these monsters won't appear. 
Then you get to kill the Chaos Gemeralds. And to get the Broken Betrayal Blade, you need to go to slash join Evil War Null. Over here, you just kill the Legion Fenrir until they drop the Broken Betrayal Blades. To get the Archfiend's Favor, you just go to slash join Evil War Null and kill a bunch of monsters there until they drop the Archfiend's Favor. And to get the Totem of Nullgath, you go to Nullgath again. Now over here you want to click on him, click quests, contracts, get totems, and click totem of Nolgath. Now you need 25 essence of Nolgath and one Tara the Man Manslayer to get a totem of Nolgath. You can get a Manslayer by killing Tara the Manslayer who is next to the VHL NPC. For the very final item you need two Void Aura, slash join Shadowfall, and over here you click on this NPC, click quests, Retrieve Void Auras and you'll get at least two Void Auras which is all you need and it tells you where to get each monster right over here. To get the first item you need to go to slash join time space. Over here you kill the, these Astral Femrites. For the next item you go to slash join Citadel. Here you kill Bellarot the Fiend until he drops his essence. Next you want to go to the Black Knight. And over here you'll need to complete his quest and get a Black Knight Orb so that you can actually fight him. And once you get his orb you can fight him and take his essence. Next you want to go to slash join Mudluck. And over here you can just go to your player to the boss. And you want to kill the Tiger Leech here until you get his essence. Next you want to go to slash join AQ Lesson. And you go through this green portal and you go through here until you find Karnax and kill him and take his essence. Next you want to go to slash join Necro Cavern and over here you can just go to someone to get to the boss and here you want to kill the Chaos of Vordred until you take his essence. And now you want to get the Daitengu essence by going to slash join Hachiko and once again we're gonna go to someone and over here you want to kill the Daitengu until you get his essence. And now you want to go to slash join Time Void and here we're gonna go to someone again and here you want to kill the unending avatar until he drops his essence. Next we're going to go to slash join dragon challenge. And here we're going to go to someone again. And we'll just kill the void dragon until he drops his essence. And finally we'll go to slash join maul. And over here we kill this monster to get his essence. And then we are finally done. And you'll complete this quest and get your two void auras. Once you have done all of these steps, you'll finally have the reagents you need for Archfiend class. Now if this seems too difficult, I recommend just buying it for 2000 ACs as it is the best 2000 AC class in the game.